this is a time, obviously, we've heard a lot about, you know, anxiety and stress and loneliness. Um, and I, I would maybe just spend a minute on some of the things we're doing at the bank and then would love to hear your thoughts. I think as people know, you, we have the employee assistance program visits that you can have, obviously, right now. Those are mostly virtual and we've actually just today introduced with Heladoc their mental health component as well so that teammates have yet another access for themselves or their families if they need to reach out and talk to someone. We know anxiety is high. Um, we know people are managing stress. We've been talking a lot about you know tools for meditation and breathing, but would love to hear your thoughts. You've spent a lot of time on this topic and um, would love to hear hear uh, thoughts you have on it. There are three things that are the most important. The first is to be grounded in the present. This is more important than ever during a time of extreme anxiety and uncertainty. And that means any time our mind goes to negative fantasies, catastrophizing about the future, to guide our mind back to being grounded in the moment. Because really, that's all we know. You can read endless stories about when will social distancing end, when are we going to go back to normal, what will normal look like, but the truth is nobody knows. So during a time when nobody really has the full answer, the only agency we have, the only thing we can empower ourselves with is returning ourselves to the present moment. Now, ironically, this is a great admonition for every part of our lives. But right now it's kind of urgent. And um, the way to do that is, first of all, to focus on our breathing. You know, when we consciously breathe, when we take conscious inhales and exhales, even like three inhales and three exhales, it's easier to return to the present. The other thing for me is to have quotes all around me that remind me to return to the present. Like I have it on my mirror, I have it on my desk. The antidote to negative fantasies is what are the blessings, even in these most difficult circumstances, that uh, that we are grateful for? I think this concept of you know gratitude is so important um, right now because there is a lot of tragedy, and and we know that. Um, and and one of the things that I've really been enjoying with my family um, while everybody's home, you know, a lot of times I get home late from work, and you know now obviously I'm I, I'm home. At 7 p.m. every night, you might have seen this in New York City and out in a lot of the suburbs where we live. At 7 p.m., everybody comes outside and, you know, claps for the healthcare workers. And it just it's so terrific. And it's it's nice to throughout tragedy, see everyone coming together. And I think it's um, it's just something that throughout the difficult moments, we need to take those moments. And, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't also um express my gratitude for Brian and his leadership right now, because um, I know, you know, we've said we will not have any job reductions um, that are related to the coronavirus and, you know, giving our teammates, you know, our 208,000 teammates that that assurance that they don't need to, to worry about their job is something that I think everybody can be grateful for, in addition to many of the other things that we've been doing. But I, I know that's, uh, that's been something very important and would, would be remiss if I didn't uh, express my gratitude for his leadership right now as well. Mm -hmm.